Michelle Pfeiffer, David E. Kelly defy Hollywood odds by celebrating three decades of marriage. Actress marked 30 years of bliss with television writer-slash-producer in November. Michelle Pfeiffer appeared to be more in love than ever with her husband, David E. Kelly, after the couple recently celebrated three decades of marriage. On Monday, the 65-year-old actress shared a romantic photo in which she was seen embracing the 67-year-old television writer and producer as they stood outside in front of trees decorated with white lights. Lit up trees this time of year never cease to fill me up with the magic of the holiday season, the Scarface star wrote in the caption of her Instagram post, adding a sparkle emoji. On November 13, Pfeiffer marked her 30th year of marriage to the Ally McBeal creator and commemorated their milestone anniversary on social media. 30 Years of Bliss, the three-time Academy Award nominee wrote alongside a selfie of the couple. Pfeiffer and Kelly first met after being set up on a blind date by the actress's best friend in January 1993. The Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, star was previously married to actor Peter Horton from 1981 to 1988. During a 2022 appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Kimmel, the California native recalled that she was hesitant to meet Kelly at first. I was kind of nervous, and I'd had a couple of bad blind dates and I had sworn off of them, and my best friend said, please, just this last time, meet this guy, David Kelly, and I said, okay, Pfeiffer told Kimmel. I thought it was a good idea to do like a bowling party. Pfeiffer remembered that she initially thought her sister, Didi Pfeiffer, might be a better match for Kelly after noticing that the two were chatting it up during a dinner ahead of the bowling party. We all met for dinner before, which was the awkward part, probably. I think the bowling part was okay, Pfeiffer said. Somehow, he ended up sitting across from my sister and I ended up sitting across from his best friend. And he and my sister were just chatting it up because she's very charming and really good socially, Pfeiffer continued. I'm not so good. And he's a little bit shy, we're both a little bit, shy. I say to my best friend, I think I should set Didi up with him. They seem to be really hitting it off, Pfeiffer recalled. My friend said, don't you dare. I will kill you. I am sitting across from your next husband, Pfeiffer said. She continued, we hadn't spoken two words. I don't know how she thought that, but it didn't start off great. However, Pfeiffer and the Ally McBeal creator began dating seriously shortly afterward. Prior to embarking on a relationship with Kelly, the actress had already started private adoption proceedings. In March 1993, she finalized her adoption of daughter Claudia Rose. The adoption process was already in motion when he and I met. So, when she came, he and I had only been together for about two months, Pfeiffer told Good Housekeeping in 2007 via People magazine. Pfeiffer said the unconventional circumstances ultimately strengthened their relationship. So, we had this child with us right away, and most people don't have that, she said. But I really got to see, Kelly, in a situation that certainly would separate the boys from the men. Obviously, he really rose to the occasion. Pfeiffer continued, we both got to see each other as parents before we progressed in our relationship together and, in a strange way, it took the pressure off as a couple. It was sort of perfectly timed. I mean, it's a real testament to the kind of person he is but also to the fact that sometimes the traditional way of doing things isn't always the best way. The couple went on to tie the knot in November 1993, less than a year after they first met. Kelly officially adopted Claudia and the pair welcomed their son, John Henry, in August 1994. During a 2002 interview with ABC, Pfeiffer explained that she and Kelly made spending time together as a couple a priority after becoming parents so early in their relationship. The Emmy Award winner told the outlet that the two have a date night every Saturday during which they go out for dinner and a movie. I'm always talking to people who, say, oh, gosh, we haven't had a date, they can't think when the last time was they went out with their spouse, Pfeiffer said. I think because we became parents, two months into the relationship, and so it was really, really important in the beginning. At the end of the 90s, Pfeiffer was one of the highest-paid actresses in Hollywood. However, the former beauty pageant queen embarked on a career hiatus in the 2000s, though she continued to take on occasional roles. It would become the first of several long breaks from acting for Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer has previously explained that she chose to semi-retire from the entertainment industry at the height of her fame so she would be able to focus on her family.